Vlogmas Day 4, everybody. So I decided to drive to work today so that I could make a slightly different video than I've been making the last couple of days rather than montaging my way through edits and sketchbook life. I thought I would drive and therefore have some time to talk to you about Christmas and some of my favorite memories. Ah, oh, crap, parked cars. Let me in, let me in, let me in. I had the idea to do this like 10 minutes before I left. So these are not gonna be in any particular order, simply the order in which they come to my head. Um, but that's fine. I mean, you can't go past the year that there was a trampoline in the backyard. We do Christmas morning in the, in the lounge room, obviously, where the Christmas tree is. And I can't remember why, but I went into the family room and looked out the window for some reason. And I saw a trampoline but I must not have known the word for a trampoline, or if I did, I couldn't remember it that early in the morning because we used to wake up at like five o'clock in the morning to look at presents. And so I call out to Aaron and my parents that there's something in the backyard. And um, <laughs> Aaron says that it's probably Belle, our dog. And I'm like, I don't think it's Belle. You know, it's large and black. And so Aaron comes running out and it's trampoline. And that was the that was the only year that we did that that Santa did that for us that it was like massive surprise in the backyard. So yeah, trampoline in the backyard. Good job, Santa. Um, from about I think it was about year two thousand, might have been nineteen ninety nine. Um, we've been having Christmas at Annie Carey's house, and one of my favorite memories. Usually when we hung out when we were kids, it was obviously me and Casey. Sometimes it was me, Casey, and Erin. But there were other cousins around that age as well. A lot of them were boys, but there was cousin Roxanne. Roxanne was the cool cousin. She was way too cool for us. And one year we were playing in Casey's room and Roxanne came in and played with us. And for some reason, that's like one of my favorite Christmas memories <laughs> was just Roxanne playing with us. Are you gonna let me in, dude? No, you're gonna be a dick. Are you going to be a dick? Are you going to be a dick? He's not going to be a dick. Thank you. And Cousin Roxanne came in and she started playing with us and like, and like giving Casey's toys names and doing voices and stuff. And it was like the coolest thing ever because Roxanne was playing with us. Roxanne doesn't play with us. And she was like being fun and cute and it was awesome. And I think Daniel came in and joined in as well. Or maybe that was a different year and I'm just joining the memories together. But that was really cool. So before... Christmas at Annie Carey's, it was Christmas at Grandad's, Grand and Grandad's. Um, and I don't know, what, I probably have heaps of um, best Christmases at their place. But my memories from before I was nine are not the best. I do remember, well I don't know whether I remember or I've just seen it again, seen the video, but so Grandad was really good at like woodwork and like pottery and stuff. And so one year he built us things. So Casey and I got cradles. Um, wooden cradles and Aaron and I think it was Aaron and Roxanne got uh, bookshelves. Big presents when you're little are always good. Other than that, I don't remember a lot about like specific things about like specifically Christmas at Grandad's place. I remember Grandad's place. I remember like the flying fox and, and the merry-go-round. That's right, my grandfather had a flying fox and a merry-go-round in his house. I mean, not in his house, in his backyard. There was the year we had the blow-up pool in the backyard. That was actually like really fun. It was like a tiny little kiddie pool. I mean, we're probably actually a little bit too old for it, but we had such a good time just like jumping around in the water and playing with the hose and stuff because it's summer in Australia, right? So it was a lot of fun. It's going to be good for the next generation because we're going to be at Jodie's place from now on and she has a proper pool. But when I was a kid, the blow up pool in the backyard of Anna Carey's place was, was great fun. One of my best Christmases was probably actually the year I made everybody cry. <laughs> it was the year that like no one was coming to Christmas. like to the point that Christmas was held at my place because it seemed, my place is in my parents' place, um, because it seemed ridiculous for us all to troop over to Anna Carey's place and make her host Christmas when she was the only one that was gonna be there. Because Casey was living in England and Jodie was working and Daniel had moved to Western Australia and 
the Joneses had stopped coming, so Roxanne and her family had stopped stopped coming. They do sometimes turn up, but it's kind of like random. Um, and there were no grandkids yet, yet so it was just going to be... Jody was going to come over in the morning for a minute to say hi and, and swap presents, and then it was just going to be on the carry, so we're like, okay, well, we'll host it at our place. Um, but yeah, that year I made a video. It was just like a whim to make, because the um, Tim mentioned the song White One and the Sun had come out recently at that point, and it's a very Australian Christmas song, and it matches our family pretty well. So I decided, oh, you know what, like, I'll use all this old footage from like our childhood Christmases and set it to White Wine in the Sun, it'll be cute. And so I, I worked on it for weeks and weeks and like downloading all the footage and going through years of footage. I, uh, I posted it to Facebook on like Christmas Eve night and like everyone went nuts. Like people who don't even, who aren't even part of our family like got all emotional about it on Facebook but I got a call from Daniel from Western Australia who's like my punk cousin who was practically in tears telling me he was coming home for Christmas next year and Casey got all excited about coming home the next year and it was just like everybody was over the moon for this video and it lasted for years like we watched it every year for Christmas and everybody was sharing it every year for Christmas I actually did an updated version last year um, which is basically the same video except I fixed some of the transitions that I didn't like that bugged me because it kept getting reshared and I was like oh, I could do better than that um, and I also added in some footage of the girls and the kids because um, when I made it there were no grandchildren so um, I added, added in the girls and Charlie and you my baby girl my jet lagged infant daughter you'll be handed round the room like a puppy at a primary school and you won't understand but you will learn someday that wherever you are and whatever you face these are the people who make you feel safe in this world my sweet blue eyed girl but that, that year was fun. The year I made everybody cry. Oh, there was the year, it was like 1999. I think I was in year three. Um, Casey and I, every, it, was, it was, was that a deer? It was just a deer hanging out on the side of the road. Okay, cool. That was cool. If only I had a front facing camera. Anyway, and I was hanging out with Casey and we decided that we would make up a song and then tell everybody that we both learnt it in school choir because we're the same age and it's perfectly reasonable that we would have done that but it was a terrible song like the only line of it I remember was nails on the blackboard nails on the blackboard just like the red back on the toilet seat I don't remember what we were trying to do but because we both knew it everybody believed us that this really really bad song was this Australian song that that our teachers had t taught us and we both knew the same song and we performed it for the family yeah, that, that's something that happened at Christmas. I think the best was definitely trampoline in the backyard. I mean, you can't really beat that, can you? It's trampoline. It's in the backyard. Cool. <laughs> all right, I think that's all of my stories for now, but I hope you enjoyed them. I am halfway to work. Merry Vlogmas Day 4. See you tomorrow. Oh crap, I haven't done my advent calendar. Okay, there might be one more piece to this video. Advent calendar. <laughs> I look bloody scared too.